Hello everybody and welcome back to how to build a baby B1 bomber 10 minutes at a time. You guys ready for some more baby bomber building action? <laughs> Tell you what, it's been quite an experience. This has actually been this is actually bomber number two. Bomber baby baby bomber number two. Uh the first one, I've learned a lot off that first one. And I learned, this is the main thing. It was too heavy. Okay, with the power I had, it, it was too heavy. Okay, with them wood wings, this light ply center, that plywood back there, uh, plywood or balsa stabs, balsa wings, and the uh, lead it took to CG it weighed almost two pounds, people. And uh, them little motors I got just wasn't cutting it. We went out to try to fly it yesterday. Like, it crashed like eight times <laughs> before we would get the thing zeroed. Before we gave up. And, uh, you know, if I would have had more power, it probably would have flew. You know, I don't know. Them little motors just might not be enough. But this weighs six ounces. Just the bare airframe, the nose, and the, the quarters it took the CG in. About a dollar fifty-five in there, I believe. And uh, that that was six ounces right there. Just that, not counting the wood wings, the wood stab, radio equipment. These wood wings weigh one ounce a piece. These these uh, foam wings weigh about three eighths, three eighths of an ounce. Okay, these things weigh nothing. Balsa wings are heavy. Okay, so this is what I did, people. Today I whipped me up another one. All right, I used foam stabs, and uh, you know that stuff was so flimsy. That's why I didn't use it to begin with. But this is some thin carbon sheets I just happen to have laying around the shop. Then I put them. Oh, got a bunch of carbon sheets there, and I happen to have a real thin one. Oh, here it is. Okay. I just cut me some quarter inch strips. All right. I went around the outside of that edge, and that got it pretty rigid, okay? Another part of my, I was having problems with. See, I put my carbon tube through the fuselage, and then uh, my aluminum rod over that carbon, and that's just a perfect fit, man. That's just perfect. Okay, but in here it was just sloppy. So I took some of that carbon sheets and I laid them up on both sides, you know, with a little resin, glued that aluminum tube in there. Bam, that works fine now. Okay, probably saved an ounce back there, if not more. Tom, I got two of them stabs in there, two of them wood stabs. I know two of them had to be close to an ounce. And them weighed grams. Okay, my servos, I'm keeping the same. Because that's a good place for them. And that's about as small as you can get. My wood wings are gone. I went with the foam wings. I did the same thing there. I put me a carbon fiber strip on the front, on the back. Took a piece of square quarter inch uh, balsa. You know, just the stuff that comes already square. Glued me a carbon fiber strip on one side of it. Okay. Now, I tried making them wing swing on that one. These wings were just too heavy out here and it just wanted to bind you know and I, I had that little bitty servo on there and it didn't cut it so I had this high tech mighty mini threw it on there ended up burning the servo up it was going to take a full size heavy duty 8711 to swing them wings and that was just too much you know that's just too much where these foam wings I can go back to this mighty mini 
I just got to get a new one because that one's toast. And, uh, but this plane here, let me show you what this one weighs. This is ready to fly, people. CG and everything, eight ounces. Okay, that's about 14 ounces less. And uh, instead of using light ply here, I cut it a little thinner and put balsa in there. You know, and uh, with cutting the weight way down, it don't have to be as rigid. You know what I mean? Because the heavier you build it, the more likely it's going to break when you have a bad landing or something. The lighter you build it, the less likely. You know what I mean? And it'll fly better, take less to pull it, smaller battery. See, you build a big old heavy plane, it takes a big old motor to fly it, you gotta have a big old battery, so you're gaining just tons and tons and tons of weight. And then that takes away from your flying ability. So my main goal here is to keep this thing light. That's what foamies are all about. Okay, I got rid of the nacelles. The I just put the motors, built little wooden boxes just as small and as light as I possibly could. Got my speed controllers on the bottom. But now, I was going to go fly this thing this evening. And my, uh, one of my motors ain't running right. Plus, I really think these motors are too small, to tell you the truth. You know... The little things are screamers, but I'm limited on the props I can get. There's only a couple pitches, and ones I had yesterday were three threes, some black ones. And I got these three three and a half today, but uh, now one of my motors is acting up, and I can't go fly it. So basically, I wanted to get some flight testing on it. Let me put these in the tripod here before I even mounted a servo to work them wings, you know, and, uh, because, you know, one thing I did not want to do is just spend a month on this little project, I just wanted to whip one up and go chuck it, see what happened when we swung them wings, but another thing I noticed with these wood wings, okay, the wings out, we, you know, get CG, but these heavy wings on this light airframe, on this small light airframe, when this wing swept back, that's too much weight going back in proportion to what the airplane weighs. You know what I mean? So it was making the plane way too heavy when we would swing the wings back. And because a couple times yesterday, I just folded the wings back and chucked it, man, just as hard as we could. And uh, it would just, you know, go like this, do one of them, and then come down. And, uh, we got it to almost fly a couple times. I think I could have got it to fly on these motors today, you know, cutting a pound. You know, I pretty much cut a pound off this airplane. Uh, it ain't got no wood inside structure no more. It's all just the foam. And uh, cut almost a pound off of it. Plus, I, I whooped it up today. You know, that other one took me three days. Oh, you know, I guess the better. <laughs> The more you do, the better you get. <laughs> but it looks pretty cool, man. But I think I need bigger motors, and that's just really... I don't have any. And them things are, you know, kind of pricey. New speed controllers and all that. You know, I wanted to use them because my CG is just perfect with this battery up here. You know? And if I... Th I just don't know what I want to do. I might just set it aside. Let old, I want to let old Lip Ripper take a look at it though. I like your, Dave, I like your stops and everything. The way you got that inside set up. But, uh, we need to go back to the phone, bud. Uh, these, they're coming out too heavy. And, uh, you know, that's just taken away from its flying ability. You know, these foam wings, hey, you know, if you get, this foam's cheap, if you break one, bam, you can have another one in minutes, you know. guy could even uh, cut a couple spares and take them to the flying field with you. Uh, I really think that's the way to go. Same way on these stabs. Because, man, you know, we're already getting pretty heavy back here. It takes a bunch up here to counteract that. You see... This one is CG'd. 
But, you know, the 